are hail. So now we come to the fourth video. This one I will be the fourth video where we they try to build Slack from scratch. This one I will be Slack. I don't talk about the functionality of this from my previous video. So if you never watched that one, if you watched that one before you watch this. And then, so the last video, which we, where we stop, we say we just make requests. We just connect Postman to the server and it will return us this hello world. Now, the next thing we want to achieve for this video is we could create a user. We could get ability to create user, like return user from the back end. Because we we'll still do authentication and we need user to be able to do authentication because not for example the admin user and I go fit authenticates other people. So now the things we'll go to be that. But for right now, the only user we'll create for this video. I will show now how controller they work. I will show now how module they work with Nest framework. I get a course website they teach uh, one on one on that Nest generally. So if you're interested, if you contact me and we'll go, I will try to put you for some of the slot and now uh, place where you go fit, you know, talk with you, you know, understand and something like that. So right now, nothing did the back end. We don't get anything than just within Nest give us by default. So first of all, I want Mukwi just create, you know, like append global variable, uh, global setting for global prefix, maybe API. We just call them API, and so that when we deal with when we deal with uh, the request, we go know say okay now API would go with just in case you want to use anything for the root part. So if we need to come here, if I do this one, it will give us a you know day, you know day because it is on a three thousand. So then we need to come here for the environment variable here, and let's just do the same thing here. Put API. It's supposed to just set the current, but I'm gonna go wait for that one. Then I don't get this one. Then if I make this request, it give me back a load. So everything does in sync. But right now, we won't create new collection. We will create new collection. We will call this one user. So this one, I'm going to deal with anything, any endpoint that has to do with user. So first, make I delete this one. We don't need them anymore. It don't show us how the thing they work. So create new request. I'll just call this one, say API slash user. Now, this API slash user, if you see, you see, say the thing show get. So it means say, now only get with you use, what we say to just retrieve user. So we'll use the same variable we we'll use the other time, which is base part. Put the base part here. And we create, say, base part slash user. We could check what thing we put for this. We don't need, we just need this one. So because we did add one here, just you know, so slash user, it they give us 404. So whenever I create the endpoint, whenever I do anything about user for the server, now waiting on one more CVD. Then from here, now we're gonna take the go back. We're gonna get error and we're gonna fix the error and we're gonna go back. I think that one day easier for people to understand than making anything just come from server. You need to know why each step they right now it they tell us say 404, it they tell us say this thing you no know, there for the server. No endpoint for this, no controller to handle this request. So we could create one. First of all, I will create one new folder. I will call it modules folder. Now there I will transfer this. I don't need this one first. I just need to delete them. Then I will transfer all this one going inside here. Move it. I'll move this one inside. I want to move. Then I'll move services inside. I want to move. So the app now don't go inside. And if you come back here, everything they work. You can see within the app with the server. Yeah, it don't start successfully. And come here is to give us so everything they work. If we put just nothing here, it's supposed to give us back that hello world, correct? So now let's go back to the error. 404. We don't do here now. We won't create model. npm uh, nest also get a command for us to fit create model. So if you just also say nest model and you tell and say okay, you won't make it put on for modules dot 
modules slash modules inside modules folder so we we'll just put user it will help us do everything it will help us import them and put them for where it's supposed to be so he say okay yeah because we need to put generate so i'll just put G generate module it doing thing that nah, it don't create them for us so if you come here now we don't see say user down there and you don't make this for us and you don't put them for even here we need to import that module here first of all we just import this module here user module because every module for this uh for every module for this uh, framework now only one module there because if you if you know about angular then you this is just straightforward if you know angular you could do very easy. this one could just this framework would be very easy for you to understand so but we get one particular module for for all, every app which is the app module and every the app module which is this one go import any module way you know and the app go first load when the app load now the module we will we will, we will load with that and every other module where they import for this import field here could they load to so the one we we'll just create now now user module so we we'll go call this one user module i will go import them from user so but it tell us a user node day because if you go to this root file a user module node day but even though it day but because me i like to the you know just if i want import something from one folder i just like to just put the name of the folder without you know specifying the file so we need to make that one work so i need to add index.ts because ts when you come here by default it will just go inside this file so when you go inside this file i will just export everything with inside user module say okay go user module may you export everything with inside and if we come back here this one they tell us say you know they so we fit one like this close out i don't know what they do there to do close everything so yeah yeah don't save just close then now go back there then I go the app module. Yeah, everything they work now. But no, I don't want to make it important like this. I just want to make E done like this. Alright. And this one. Yeah. User module app. So it's in the kind of complain about say cannot find user module where where the fire do oh, okay yeah because we need to create them we need to create that or oh, this one this main file we we'll put that inside this main file because we're trying to make it come inside the folder this that's that's they make it come inside the folder so we could put on there that one could solve the problem then i'll move the app service to to the main so everything's supposed to be fine now if you go back here this one to don't move himself so save 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 and if you come here you see say okay the error don't go so it's the model and it's still run. okay but we still never get user so we need controller so you get controller now will be the team we will respond when the request come so we could build one controller so for here for the app for the user module here we just create new i feel use next to even create that same thing too all i just need to do now to just call on controller and you can help me create a controller so make i just do that one let me create the controller you can help me import them i will even tell us i can help me do the service too so i think do service then we'll go inside all those files as we they move Alright, so everything done the controller done they created for us this one a controller spec. I don't need that, I just need to come out and first. Then I don't get the, the main con uh, the, the user controller done the user and the module done the imported service done the service spec. Make I delete this one too. Now and now later things. So now I delete this one. Then you get the service okay so everything on the fine and if we go here now everything they work all right so now we'll create we'll create uh this 
we need to pass in constructor just in for right now it's just going to be empty constructor because the or um, we'll just make um, more import the user service already because we don't get them now so so here now user service we put user service you can help us import them important from user service so this is connected so now now get method will be used for here so we need to import get method from next common to use create our endpoint so if you come here in a decorator so if you come here we'll put dash get so this one now go get anything i'll just say okay get all users and all we need is just say what we see if you come here move we'll to console log hello so everything is set if we draw now we're supposed to get nothing like error you see and if we go to console the thing give us give us the hello all right we can arrange these things so that we go too far to, from each other so it give us hello so it means the thing they eat the the controller with that all right so which means if you start to do some interesting stuff so we'll return from here we'll return say okay we'll return at coded user then they talk say okay username username uh, admin username uh, admin and password uh, password we we'll just leave it like this first then if we come back here come back to postman hit give us waiting we don't they return so we don't they get so the error now don't they solved for in terms of user but now we need to carry this and go somewhere else so we need to go carry and go service so to get to invoke that service we get this dot user service dot get all users we'll just come out like this even though we never define that there they give us error and if we even do this if they return the same because the app itself no build you see the app that say okay user service no get dot get all users so we'll go add one so if you come user service here we'll also put like empty constructor for here because nothing will they inject for here so all users we return the same thing we will return the other time we return username I don't know how we take right on that time like something like this if we just copy this one with it for the post money of just copy this one just kind of come here and say okay we can return this one all right so with the return that one if we go back to post we're supposed to get the same it's me talk okay this one we just we don't return for here so if we go back to post my supposed to give us the same yeah they give us the same here all right now we don't get users and um, we just they add code down from you know from here so we could save an inside state if we save an inside state we'll say users we'll just say users now users now array give our users array and when you come back get all users which also say okay they can return us this this dot users dot you know not, not any dot anymore just return the array for us so to come here now and we know any users everything they empty everything empty users they empty and look we click down so I, won't, I won't make we see this this so we'll just say is equals to array and look we send down like this they send us that empty array back which is good so we don't have any user so let's create one how do you create this one i get you just retrieve users resource from your database so here now i won't add user we could create one new user we will add one new request the same endpoint like this it will look like this user you see they'll be the same but you see get get but now we could change them because we won't create so the server they give it they call rest api rest api go rest api i'm gonna show now rest api mozilla rest api now now rest representation state transfer we 
you, if, if you use for architectural design constraints that bring efficiency, reliability, and scalable of distributed system. So what it really be now? Uh, just say, if you want to call something, say they're restful. It means say you call restful when they directly modify a type of document as opposed to triggering action as well. So now for here now, we say get, get go return particular document. We say post, post go actually modify the database by creating new record and we get put we go modify that record where you go so now restful api this and all of them now you see the way they get the way you 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 could write them the same you could make the request the same this one you will make the request the same way but the only thing we will change now the method where you they use the http verb where they use to take the make the request and the only thing we will change with that so now if we Post this one, it did also will not get any post. Just the same problem we will get when we they try to create user. Now we don't get any user. So you say you don't get any post. So we could create another post. We could the post post request. So if we want to create post request, now clear all these things again and we'll go to the user controller and post request. All you two need now another decorator called post. And we need to call that decorator for here, post and here we go call to say okay create it was a create user and this create user will get payload and we will use the create user so for now we'll just log out here we'll just log the payload for here and now if we go postman we'll try to make that request the error don't come out and if we go our distance is undefined because we don't send anything so we could send something we could send json object so we go to the raw and change this one to json and now that thing we'll get that time we'll just put on here say okay user username we'll call them admin and password password we'll call them just password yeah if you want to set your password like that so we'll call on password and if we come here it still give us empty because we never feed past the body because this thing we will do so now inside the body you could do so now let's also get another decorator again with the record body and this decorator now now will go path for here this body we're going to invoke that decorator and we'll see me just give us the payload Oh, this one's not TypeScript error. Just TypeScript error, ignore them. So, we put the payload there. You see, we don't get the thing we did, we will pass for here. So, we get them through the body. So, now we we'll use that one. We'll use and take create new record. Call create new record for inside user service. So, we'll call user service and we'll just say create user. And we'll go pass them. This payload whenever I create this method for user service, so we could create a method for user service. Create user, we think that this one they do payload. We think this one they do this one just could just when you get anything from there, your own job now to just say users dot push, which is JavaScript array method. We could push this to this user, so we could try them. We send, we don't send. We don't create no any error. Everything they find. And if you come here, I will do. You see, the user will create. We don't forget them. So now we don't create user, and we don't retrieve that same user. But problem see they see. If I start, if I if the problem with they say now if I I don't shut down the server, I don't start them again. I don't start them again and I come here, everything on the loss until we create new user. So for the next video now I will talk about how we fit take save this user with database and type of RM. So I hope so you now enjoy the video. If you like the video, like the video and if you never subscribe for my channel, subscribe so anytime where I post new videos you could feel they notified and also it will good to get people to come here to ask questions just in case you get a question or just want to connect with other people. I hate. Later.